man, I really wasn't going to make a video today. This is my daily report of doom and gloom. <laughs> Canadian prepper, that's his phrase. Um, so let's just go around the horn real quick. Uh, and I'll get into my personal stuff because I always try to help you with things that you might want to be thinking about on an individual basis other than geopolitics. Uh, so yeah, the... Um, the uh, big Russian advance, uh, everybody's talking about, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so I kind of got some numbers today, and uh, I, 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 there's everybody's throwing out numbers, and I'm just going to tell you that these are the numbers that, that I have wrote down. Um, so we got about more than 300,000 troops uh, inside uh, Ukraine, that's what uh, they're reporting. Um, now that doesn't include the... Uh, the troops that are up in Belarus. So there's another 100, 120,000 there. So that would be 420,000 when you consider that Russia came across uh, back in the day, February 24th, 2022, with just 100 and, well, I think, well, it, uh, reports were 80,000, and I've heard uh, today it was 150,000. I don't know. I, I, it was a limited operation. Let's just put it that way. Um, so what are we looking at uh, coming across uh, within probably the next couple of weeks? Uh, we got 1,800 tanks uh, considering that, by the way, Britain's still talking about providing 13 tanks. So I can't wait to see them go up against 1,800 tanks. We'll see how the Brits do because they're going to be manning those tanks. It won't be the uh, Ukrainians. Um, we got 3,950 armored vehicles that are going to be pouring across the border. Um, so we'll see about that. Uh, 2,700 artillery systems, uh, seven, 870 MRLS, uh, multiple, multiple rocket launch systems or multiple launch rocket systems. So MLRS or, okay, uh, 400 fighter jets. So yeah, I guess we're going to somehow get some F-16s in there and uh, that'll be Brits and uh, U.S. Uh, pilots that are, if they actually are stupid enough to get into these F-16s and try to fight the Russians, uh, well, they're just going to die. Let's just put it that way. So, um, but, because uh, that's the only way these fighter jets would uh, make a difference of any sort. Uh, they might kill a few Russians, but uh, most, all of these pilots are going to die. I hope these young people aren't that stupid, but we'll see. Uh, you got 300 helicopters, uh, and that's about it. Uh, so that's kind of the latest on the war. Uh, if you're following it, I've already said that Bakhmut, uh, they're still working on uh, surrounding that. There were reports today, um, and boy, I tell you, it was all over the gambit. You know, the British uh, media reported that uh, the uh, there was a convoy of Russian um, uh, mechanized uh, forces that were trying to attack, uh, Vol damn it, God dang it, I didn't write it down, Volomar. Anyway, that's it's it's another city north of uh, um, Bakhmut, and uh, they said that they they killed uh, well they said hundreds of Russians, 400 I think was the total, uh, but then other reports said that uh, it was I tell you all these things are sketchy. You go you go through Russian television, you go through uh, uh, the BBC, you know it's it's hard to get. But anyway, there was a battle that took place there, um, and so. Uh, uh, the, uh, another important, uh, and this, this is very bad, uh, nothing but, I tell you, the United States, um, it, it, if we survive the next uh, four or five years, I'm, I'm going to be surprised. But uh, they, they pointed out today and uh, on various channels that the um, United States is picking all of the HIMARS targets uh, in Ukraine uh, for um, the uh, contractors, these aren't Ukrainians that are manning these HIMARS systems to launch at. So that means uh, we are directly participating in the war against Russia uh, and destroying uh, uh, targets. And there, if you want to believe the Russians or, or other uh, reports, uh, some of these are hospitals. Some are, are humanitarian targets. Uh, these are war crimes. Uh, so we have American soldiers committing war crimes uh, according to what I'm seeing so we'll see uh, the uh, Croatian uh, president uh, he's been placed on a Ukrainian kill list because uh, he made comments against the war um, and so uh, we'll see how that goes uh, and you'd have to you know you, you can go through the videos and watch his comments I thought he was he was very uh, sane he was just saying you know this this 
we need to um, start backing out of this situation. Um, so um, let's see. Mil Mil yeah, Milanovic. Yeah, he was the one. Uh, I'm sorry, I wrote his name down after I wrote that. He's the one on the kill list. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I do encourage um, the United States and uh, European, the European Union, and I'm sure they won't do it, to lift the uh, sanctions against Syria amid the crisis. Uh, I don't know if you've been following along the uh, devastation that has taken place in Turkey and Syria from this earthquake. I mean, I say it was 7.4 on the Richter scale. But I guess, uh, especially in Turkey, I guess the construction, they just don't take into account that the buildings need to be able to survive an earthquake. Or maybe they just thought they'd never get hit by an earthquake. It's kind of like here in the United States. Do we ever think we're going to get hit by an EMP that would take out all of our electronics? Uh, no. So, yeah, we're, we're stupid. They were stupid. And uh, they should have been building their, their buildings uh, with a lot better construction. But, I mean, the numbers... I mean, at first it was 7,000, then it became 10,000. Now it's 20, I, last, I, I've heard numbers as high as 24,000. 24,000 people dead. That's a nuclear bomb. Holy shit. All right. So uh, instead of providing aid, uh, although the, the, by the way, this was a tweet that I found, and uh, I, I, I just, I, I wrote it down word for word. And I just thought that this was uh, very well said. Instead of providing aid, Biden is stealing Syrian oil, burning their wheat, sanctioning their civilians, occupying... More, and I, by, by the way, I want to add the warmongering Democrats, the warmongering Democrats occupying one-third of their territory and launching airstrikes through regional proxies. There you go. That's, the, that's, the, that's what your, your warmongering Democrats are. They're inhumane. Uh, so anyway, the video of the day, I was going to do um, uh, a, a, a video, and I might do it in a future video. Because remember in, in Lord of the Rings when he says, I guess meat is back on the table. And uh, I'll get to that in just a minute. But I did want to do this. Uh, this is the video of the day, and I'm just going to read it to you. It's uh, two minutes, well, two more minutes, so just hold on. Uh, because this is um, this is Russia propaganda TV or Russian TV. Uh, who knows? I mean, it sounds like a very honest uh, um, description of what it is to be a Russian prisoner, uh, a Ukrainian uh, war prisoner who surrendered. So let's just read uh, what he has to say. I'm going to I'm going to read this to you. I was forced to fight. I was mobilized while going to work. Мене мобілізували, я їхав на роботу, встановили маршрутку, вручили потім. They stopped the route minibus and I was given the conscription notice. Я пішов проходити комісію. I had not passed the medical examination because I was boarded to a vehicle and taken to the front to Donbass. Не прийшов комісію до кінця, мене одразу загрузили машину. Мене загрузили у машину і відвезли на фронт воювати, на Донбас. Я на поліклініці. I had warned the medical staff that I had a heart and stomach diseases, but they said it was not a problem. Прийшов у мене хворе серце, желудок. А мені в лікарні сказали, що це не проблема. They said I could fight. Either my heart would stop. Damn it, I'm not sorry. I was at the duty post. Then I returned to have rest. Once a shell struck our location, I was concussed. Прилетів снаряд, мене контузило. Я... I fell down, got unconscious, and recovered in about 10 minutes. It took me 12 hours after I broke my neck. Упав, потеряв сознання, і прийшов до себе десь, може, через 10 хвилин. Начали стріляти танки, знати. Tanks, artillery, and fighting vehicles started to shell. 
and I headed to the trench shelter. He's crying now. He's crying. When the shelling stopped, the Russian soldiers, soldiers told us to surrender. So I surrendered. They told us to lay down our assault rifles, rifles if we wanted to live. So we did. Guys, it's better to surrender. Now this is where this could be Russian propaganda, but I'm just telling you, I'm just reading. It looks whew, very emotional, very, very honest. Uh, but anyway, when I was at the position, we fired back. We did not want to surrender, which in an interrogation, you don't usually say that. <laughs> so, so I, I mean, I, I, I'm not trying to laugh. I'm just saying it, it just seems sincere and honest. Uh, it, so, but a lot of us were killed. Guys, now this might be propaganda, but I'm just kind of, kind of throwing it out. And he says, guys, do not go to fight. It is better to surrender or to escape, but do not fight. Now, could you say that he might have been forced into that comment? Who knows? You know, but, uh, but everything up to this point seems... A, 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 a smidgen of truth around his narrative. Or no, his, his, his truth, I guess I should say. Return to your wives, get married, and raise your children. All right, so that's uh, that's it. So uh, the the video I was going to put on uh, from Lord of the Rings was uh, the one where um, the goblins talking to him, and the two hobbits are trying to get into the forest, and uh, and I uh, and the guys you know coming up against him, and, and he chops the goblins' head off, and he goes, "I guess meat is back on the table, boys," you know, and uh, and I thought, man, I I really want to show that video, but I I found this one. Uh, much better um, for for tonight's uh, watching the world burn video. Um, and now the reason that I wanted this this meets back on the table. Well, guess what? Um, if these reports that Biden blew up the uh, Nord Stream pipeline, which I mean I'm telling you, I, you know, there's a lot of people saying one way, it's a lot of people saying another. Um, I I I I don't know. I guess I'm inclined to believe it. Uh, that he doesn't. This reporter, he's a left winger. I mean, my God, do you think that me is I? Because I'm, I'm considered right wing lunatic. I'm a right wing lunatic. I, I tend to believe what he's reported here. And um, if, if that's the case, then uh, infrastructure. And that's what I wanted to say. That was the point. Meets back on the table. Infrastructure's back on the table. Now, you've got these Democrat lunatics in charge of the country. Um, and so, what have they done? They've opened up our border. So what's been pouring across that border? Well, we've got tons and tons and tons of fentanyl. Uh, we've got human trafficking, uh, probably uh, Russian um, uh, teams of uh, agents, uh, probably Chinese teams of agents, because when you have an open border, you don't know what's coming across. Uh, we certainly have the drug cartels in the country now. And this is what Democrats want. This is what Democrats want. It just blows my mind that this is what these people want. But anyway, so, so now, infrastructures on the table now we've had i, I want to say four or five attacks on the power grid already i think these were probing attacks but that was before that was before this report on the north stream pipeline that was before so i'm going to tell you uh, uh brace for impact man i think we're going to start seeing some infrastructure in the united states uh disappearing and getting blown up i uh, hope you have a generator i hope you've been preparing you know, hope you've been uh, doing, buying some food, you know, getting everything you can to get prepped for, uh, uh, well, internal war, uh, World War III. Um, the key is going to be that, you know, Russia doesn't going to want this traced back to them. Uh, and how would you? You know, probably just, you know, a bunch of people that, uh, who knows what special forces they've sent across the border. 
that's all I'm saying is brace for impact. And then, of course, today, and, and I did want to get into this story, because uh, this is on a personal note, something you might want to consider. Uh, so today I went in to set up my foundation. And, um, and my foundation is basically going to fund uh, community projects. I'm going to build an obstacle course upon my death. All right, uh, and I had to deal with a law firm, and I've got everything in my estate that's going to go to the community in which I live, because I certainly didn't want it to go into a bunch of politician uh, lunatic pockets, probably. Well, here in Florida, at least, it'd be Republicans, but I uh, certainly wouldn't want Democrats to get a hold of, of what little uh, estate that I've been able to build up. But anyway, it was $5,000. Holy shit, I, I was surprised just to set up the foundation um so you know make of that what you will and then of course on monday i'll be meeting with the uh, funeral home and that's all going to go into my last will and testament and everything so i mean obviously if you have a wife or you have kids or you've got a big family you don't i mean i i would still encourage you to to set up the proper documentation uh uh, it's certainly if you have over a million dollars, set up a living trust and have everything dispersed accordingly uh, to to your kids. Uh, you, you don't want, I, and, and some families are somewhat dysfunctional. I know mine was for sure. Uh, so anyway, that's that's it for the day. Um, that's, that's the video today, uh, watching the world burn. I just thought that, uh, man, these numbers, 1,800 tanks. God almighty, 3,950 armored vehicles. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I'm not a Ukrainian, and I'm glad I'm not fighting that war. Like I said, if I was Ukrainian, I'd be just uh, packing up and telling my government, let's march on Europe <laughs> and take them out and join up with the Russians and divide everything up. That's what I would do. All right, peace out and stay free.